Good afternoon, folks. This is your captain speaking. Thank you for choosing Marcinko Air for your air travels today. Give you a little weather update. Appears we have blue skies, calm winds, and, and we got an engine out. Please sit back, relax, don't freak out, and buckle up. We're approaching Chicago. News no Jikandes, head striker. O'Hare Tower, this is flight 209. We have emergency. It appears we've lost engine two. ETI of two minutes. We're coming in hot. Please advise. Two more minutes? They could be miles, of course. That's impossible. They're on instruments. Passengers, this is your captain speaking. As you're aware, we're in an emergency situation. We've lost engine two which is our only engine and we're going down thought I'd ease your mind let you know I've been in this situation before this isn't my first rodeo I'm gonna keep you updated on what's going on up here in the cockpit right now the airstrip is off our right wing we're a little high so I'm gonna add a couple notches of flaps see if we can lose some altitude it appears that did absolutely nothing we'll put back down one notch of flaps we're losing about 600 feet per minute at an airspeed of 60 miles per hour. And we're about 500 feet above ground level. So that gives you, well, a little less than a minute to say your prayers. I'd appreciate it if you would uh, include me in those. I did overfly the field because I didn't quite time it right. I'm now turning back towards the field. It'll be coming in at our 12 o'clock and transferring to our 9 o'clock. We are now on a left base. Went from a right base to a left base. That is what you call a non-standard track pattern. Now turn final. Flight tents, please prepare the cabin for a crash landing. All right now everybody, get crash position. Uh, it appears I overshot the field once again, folks. Uh, it's okay, we're just gonna crank a banker in. There we go. Just level her out now. So far, it's looking better than my last engine out. Hey, we got a touchdown. Congratulations, folks. We survived. Thank you for choosing Marcinko Airlines for your, your travels today. It was a pleasure having you on board. Please feel free to come back anytime. Thanks. I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. Those scenes from Airplane just crack me up. Um, the whole reason I did this engine out was because last fall I wanted to do an experiment with my Kit Fox. Um, every pilot, when they're getting their pilot's license, is told that if you forget to put your fuel cap on your wing after filling up with fuel, you're gonna lose all your fuel in a matter of minutes and end up in an engine out scenario. So I was like, I'm gonna go test this out. So that's what I did. I took the Kit Fox out to my buddy's place. I actually filled the wing up with water. So I was irrigating, I wasn't polluting. Nothing really happened. It, not much fuel at all came out of that wing. I was like, oh, that was kind of lame. I was really hoping for like this big flow of gas, not gas, but water coming out of that wing. Every airplane is completely different. Where the cap is on the wing uh, would probably change a lot too. I did notice when I was flying with flaps, that it did actually pull out more, so it just changed the angle of the wing, I think, and that's why it was pulling out more. Imagine on a low wing aircraft, uh, going 200 plus miles an hour, it would actually just suck a lot of fuel out. A good way to show how an airplane wing flies and why your fuel would get sucked out is uh, take a piece of paper and blow over the top of it. Pretty cool. I was blown away when Donnie showed me this. That was my buddy. Renilli came up with this, right? Airplane wing flies through the air. The top part is curved and the air has to go faster over the top than the bottom and that creates lift. Um, so you can imagine if there's a, a bunch of fuel in this wing and there's a hole, it would suck all that fuel out. I thought that was such a cool way to show how an airplane wing flies. Show the kiddos that one. I'm curious if you guys, uh, one of you have experienced this with your airplane that's not a Kit Fox, how much fuel you lost in that 
time that you had the fuel cap off, how quick you had to get back to the airport. At the end of this video, I'll show some of that footage of the fuel getting sucked out of my wing. I wanted to say thank you for all the support on the last video. Holy cow, when it hit 5,000 views, I was like, yeah, people like it, you know? And then all of a sudden, 220,000. Thank you for all the great comments. A couple really funny ones. The one where I was like, so you got in there quite easy, but couldn't get out. Sounds like marriage. I thought that was a good one. And then uh, beautiful, Kit Fox for sale, beautiful location, comes with tires, not skis. Another good one, so uh, appreciate all the great comments, guys. Really excited about the YouTube thing. I love making videos, and I'd uh, like to bring you guys along for the venture. Gonna leave you guys with that, so see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. <laughs>